In this video, I'll show you how to use the phrasal verb come up. This is different from phrasal verbs that use come up and then one more preposition such as to or with or through or for. So we're only looking at come up. The simple form is come up. The past tense is came up. The past participle is come up. Notice that the past participle and the simple form are the same. And the present participle is coming up. Come up, came up, come up, coming up. For all of these sentences, I've chosen the pronoun it. So this is for some type of thing. It comes up regularly. This is in the present tense. It came up. This is in the past tense. It has come up. This is in the present perfect tense using the past participle. It's coming up. This is in the present continuous tense. This is a sentence you'll hear when someone is talking about a future event. When you want to talk about something that is happening soon in your life, I have a, and then here's the activity coming up. I have a meeting coming up. I have a birthday coming up. There's a wedding coming up. Use come up when talking about mentioning a thing or a name. Your name came up during the conversation. You weren't there, but someone mentioned your name. Your name came up. The topic of climate change comes up often these days. Because of a changing climate, you'll often hear climate or climate change mentioned. It comes up in conversation. This is in the present tense. If I put this in the past tense, then just change this to came. It came up in conversation. And to make this negative, for the past tense, it didn't come up in conversation. This means that no one talked about it. Your name didn't come up. No one mentioned your name. Or your name never came up. Both of these are in the past tense. Come up is used for plants that emerge from the ground. This happens in the spring. The tulips came up early this year. We had a warm spring and the tulips came up early. This is in the past tense. To make this negative, just change came to didn't come up this year. The tulips didn't come up this year. If you're expecting a particular plant to emerge from the ground and it doesn't come up from the ground, then you can say something like this. Just change this noun. My tomatoes came up. The green beans came up. But the asparagus didn't come up. Something was wrong with the plant 
and it never emerged from the ground. It never came up. We use come up for the sunrise. When the sun rises in the morning, we use come up. The sun comes up at about six o'clock at this time of year. In the winter, it comes up late. In the summer, it comes up early. Now the sun is coming up later and later as we get closer to the fall. What time does the sun come up where you live? And then the answer, this is in the present tense. It comes up at, and then put the time here. Use come up when something happens suddenly, this is something that is beyond your control. I'm sorry I can't make the meeting. Something came up. Or you could put the word suddenly right here. Something suddenly came up. And it's not necessary to explain exactly what that is. This is all you have to say. Something suddenly came up. Something came up which prevented the meeting. Notice that this is in the past tense. This is almost always in the past tense. Remember that come goes in this direction when you're the speaker. So if I say, when are you coming up? That means, when are you coming to see me, or come up to see me, or why don't you come up and see me sometime? Right here, you can use the conjunction and, or use the infinitive with see. Come up to see me, come up and see me. They're both okay. Come up for a visit is related to some sort of geographical location. Here's north, south, this is west, and then this is east. So if I'm here and you're there, then I'll say, come up and see me. Come up and see me sometime. If you are here and you're talking to me, then you would say, come down. Come down and see me sometime. Why don't you come down to see me? Come up is here. Come down is here. And then if it's a lateral move, then you can just say, come over. Come over will work for just about any direction. 